We are gonna make matzo ball, matzo ball soup. Have I ever made it before? No! No, I haven't. But I love eating matzo ball soup. I love chicken soup, and matzo ball soup is just chicken soup with a giant matzo ball. Take a bite of the matzo ball, soup of the soup, matzo ball, soup of the soup. First thing we gotta do is we're gonna separate our egg yolks and our egg whites to make our matzo, oh, watch out. We're gonna separate six eggs. You take the egg whites, you whip those to soft peaks. What's a soft peak? It's a peak of softness. It's when you beat your egg whites to it's soft. Erect, flaccid. Stiff peaks, soft peaks. Is that how you whisk? Can you show me how you whisk to get stiff peaks? I wanna see. Well, you're basically there. You did it. You do it. You need soft peaks. Soft peaks. Look. Oh. Our food stylist, if she could just eat matzo balls all day long, she would. When was the first time you ever made uh, matzo balls? Oh, I was like, like on a stool in my bubby's house, like when I was like four years old. There's no way of like looking cool when you're making stiff peaks, is there? No, that's good. Okay, so that's good? Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. See, this is soft peaks. That's all you want. Now, we got our egg yolks. We are gonna add three tablespoons of chicken schmaltz. Take chicken skin, render it out in a pan, strain it off. You got chicken schmaltz. That shit is cracking. So now we're just gonna incorporate our chicken schmaltz and smell that. Now we're gonna fold in our soft peaks. You want your matzo ball batter to be light because you want them to be floaty, don't you? I don't like dense matzo balls. They're called sinkers. Sinkers embarrass the family. And if you embarrass the family, you gotta, you gotta skip town. We're gonna add one cup of matzo meal, and we're gonna take our baking soda, just a tablespoon. So Jewish people during Passover make matzah. So matzah is the bread that they eat, and you just crumble it into a dust, and then from there, you can make your matzo ball soup. Now we're just gonna add a quarter cup of seltzer water. The seltzer water actually makes it a lighter ball. If you were to use just regular tap water, it'd make them more dense. One final pass. We're gonna add our matzo ball. Look at that, beautiful. And then we're gonna let this set up for 30 minutes in the fridge, and then we're gonna be able to form our matzo balls out of our beautiful matzo ball batter. I am gonna make chicken soup now. In my chicken soup, things to be a little chunky. We're gonna add two tablespoons of chicken schmaltz. We're gonna add our one large diced onion. Beautiful. We're gonna take one stalk of celery and we're just gonna cut quarter inch chunks of celery. Peel three carrots. I'm just gonna cut these in little rounds because these carrots are little small guys. We're gonna add our carrots. This is our base. And we're gonna cook this so it's just translucent. And then we're gonna add our two quarts of chicken stock. Oh. Mm. Oh my God. We got matzo balls. So after 30 minutes, it tightens up, doesn't it? The thing about the matzo ball is you can make it any size you want. I like matzo balls like that big. I don't like matzo ball soups with just like one giant matzo ball in the middle. Matzo ball soup is so fucking good. We have a boiling pot of chicken soup. I'm gonna drop in one matzo ball at a time. We're gonna bring that up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer. What are these fucking matzo balls doing? These aren't sinkers. I wouldn't give you sinkers. I wouldn't show you how to make sinkers. We are gonna simmer. Look at this. As soon as that ball floats, about five minutes, and you're perfect. That ball's cooked perfectly. So, take a slotted spoon. I'm gonna take my matzo ball. I'm gonna take our three matzo balls, ladle, our chicken soup. 
This is the first time I have ever made matzo ball in my life. And it came out perfect because once again, Michelle, she is an encyclopedia of matzo. Look at this. Ooh. See that steam going by my face? Are you crazy?